Adam Miller, I'm at Imagination Station, and we're gonna be doing some painting with light. So those are really awesome, right? So let's figure out how we do it. It's super simple. We just need a couple of things to get us started. So we need a dark room or a being outside at night, and it can be anywhere, it can be anything. And then we need something to take that image with, right? So some kind of camera. Um, it can be a regular camera, it can be your phone. Um, there are different apps if you can't adjust the settings on your phone that you can use. We've linked a couple in the description below that we found that were really awesome. And then you just need some kind of a light source and that can be as simple as an LED and a battery or maybe a flashlight. Uh, it can be anything. All right, so the first and the simplest uh, way to get a light source is have an LED light bulb and a coin battery. If you've ever looked at an LED light bulb, there's two legs on it and it's got, uh, one leg is longer than the other. That indicates that it's the positive side. And with LEDs, it care, LEDs care about which way the electricity is flowing through it and you can just slide it right onto either side of that coin battery and then you've got a light source that you can then just use to paint with. And this is the simplest circuit you can make and be able to then make a really cool image with it. You can kind of enhance this a little bit by adding it on a stick. So if I, I've already taped a battery on my stick here, and if I add my LED to my stick, I then now have a little bit more of like a wand or a uh, paintbrush, if you will, to be able to make different designs and kind of give me a little bit more control of where my light is. So I just wrote the, the word love in front of me with my LED on a stick. And so you can see in my image that I'm really blurry, but you can pretty well see my light moving around and the trail that it's leaving. That's because the shutter is open and we are exposing the sensor inside of there to more light and then it's as I move my hand and move that light around, it's leaving a trail on that sensor. So that's how we're gonna be painting with light. And it's even better when you do it in a darkened room or in a dark outside. So we're using a couple of different apps on our phones. So we've used Slow Shutter for Apple and Long Exposure Camera for Android. We have them linked below so you'll be able to find them pretty easily. We found that they were really easy to use and super user friendly. You may need to play with the settings though. So if you wanna take things off of auto, um, make sure we found that ISO being a little bit lower was good and the shutter speed and light sensitivity all the way up. The shutter speed is really good for choosing how long you want your exposures. We mostly did 10 seconds or 30 seconds, but you can do all the way up to 300 seconds and get some really nice layered photos. So that's super awesome. You can also use a DSLR camera if you have those and just play with the settings on those. Uh, so anything will really work for this. So now we're gonna look at a different way that you can paint with light that maybe isn't just you moving the light around. It's we're gonna be using a flashlight on a string and we're gonna use, we're gonna attach it to a tripod. So look at this really cool image. All right, so to make that, it's pretty simple. We just took our flashlight and we taped a string on either side so that we could hang our string really still. And then we're gonna attach it to the bottom of a tripod. You can attach it to a tripod, you can attach it to uh, maybe your ceiling or anything that you can get it a little bit higher. So I've got my tripod here. And then you wanna put your phone down so that it can focus, right? And then we will hit go and then swing our image. And you can do it that way. Um, we found earlier that we really liked the look of, this is a really broad light, and we found the light, we like the look of kind of controlling the light and making it a narrow, more pinpoint. So we just used some tape, taped it around the top here, and then kind of closed off it a little bit so that now it's more of a pinpoint. All right, so those spirals are really awesome, but you can take it in a totally different direction by creating something like a light tube. Like, we've got this light tube here. It's really simple to make. We just took a flashlight and we took some parchment paper here and you literally just kind of roll it up. And we use the parchment paper as a diffuser. Um, so it helps diffuse the light. That way it's not so harsh and it kind of helps soften it up. So we just roll it on top of there and then turn our light on and now you've got a light tube that you can kind of 
make wings or like light up people in the front or behind them. You can do all sorts of different images. You can get a little bit fancy with it. Like this one, I just held it, right? But you can grab some tape and like this one, we added some red cellophane around it. So we put the parchment paper and then added the cellophane and you can tape it up. That way it's a little bit more sturdy um, and you can do a little bit more movements. And then we found that you can also even use these uh, tubes from the home improvement store. So usually they're for um, like putting around fluorescent light bulbs so they don't break or anything. But we just got these plastic tubes. We put some parchment paper in it. Um, and now you can add a light source or you can even add in different colors, right? So by adding in our uh, red cellophane into the white parchment paper, we then have created a red and a little bit of white up here. So you can add different colors together. You can do different layering options. Um, just experiment with it and play around with it. So that's one way to make a tube and that's got the light coming out in all directions. Another way is like this tube here where we've only got light coming out of one direction. And it's really simple to make. We used a paper towel tube, we cut a slit and then we added our uh, parchment paper as the diffuser and our cellophane. So now you can play with having the light just in one area and lighting things up in a different way. Uh, and so this is where art comes in, right? So we've got some great science, the diffusion and using the long exposure on the cameras, and that's super awesome. But now we wanna kinda of play with it a little bit and let our artistic expression come out. And you can make all sorts of different images and it's up to the artist on what they like versus what maybe someone else likes. All right, so up until now, we've talked about only one using one light for all of our paintings, right? But you can step it up a little bit. What if you used more than one light? So we've got some Christmas lights and just think about all the different ways you can kinda of twirl it and even like spin it around. Just be careful, don't hit anyone. Don't get them too tangled, right? They're a pain to untangle. But you can spin them around and just think about what this might look like if you're doing something on a long exposure and you can change your circles, make it bigger, make it smaller. Yeah, you can play with it and feel free to bring other people. Maybe you do it behind someone. Maybe you do it um, next to them or something like that. Bring in other people into your art and try to make different portraits and stuff like that. So in a previous video, we did a circuit lightsaber that was really cool. So this could be a really fun painting with light tool that you can use on top of all of the other tools we use, like the wands and the tubes and the string of lights. So it's just another element that you can add and have fun with it. All right, so we've given you some great ideas. We've used LEDs and light bulbs or LEDs and batteries. We've used, put them on a stick. We've added flashlights onto our string. We've used tube lights, we've used this string of lights. We've done all sorts of different crazy things. But see what you can maybe come up with. Maybe you have a different idea that maybe we didn't think of. So make sure you share them with us. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you enjoyed our video, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Everything you need to know is below any of the materials that we used, any of the apps that we used. Uh, that way you can do this and enjoy it at home.